Today we're going to show you how we installed our solar panels on our travel trailer. So one of the first things I did was run the wire that connects the battery to the solar charge controller just to see if I had enough wire. You see here I just kind of laid it in place there, just ran it all the way through. And I went ahead and drilled the hole that we needed. I don't know if you can see that in there. Ran it through the bottom of the RV, ran it up through the top, running it over this um, piece of wood here, kind of like these other wires. And then I drill the hole up through the bottom of the pass-through storage. So this is where it comes up into the RV through the pass-through storage. You can see with the 16-foot wire, <laughs> we had more than enough wire to reach into the RV. We have some more that will actually be connecting it from the pass-through storage along the wall to where we actually install the solar panels up on the roof. Probably one of the more difficult things in the solar install is trying to figure out where to actually install the solar charge controller. For this one it's a 30 amp MPPT solar charge controller and as you can see it's fairly big so with the small 21 foot trailer we were trying to figure out if we wanted to mount it inside the RV or within the pass-through storage but if we put it in the pass-through storage this little LCD display here would be kind of worthless and we won't really know what the charge is. Right where it says COM here there's a little cord that can run through and you can actually have a different display running into your solar charge controller, at least this model. We thought about running that up through where we ran the wires, but to make it a little bit more simplistic we just left it in here. And also down here we have our two um, circuit breakers slash fuses that will be running the positive from the solar panels to the solar charge controller and from the solar charge controller back through the other breaker to the battery. So the next step is to take this little vent cover off. Hopefully it might have to take it off. Please no, I'll hold it. No, I'll so as you can see here, there's a little bit of room to wrap wire around here. We'll see if it's enough to wrap the wire for the 10 gauge wire or not. So one of the first things we have to do here is actually figure out where these solar panels are going to go on the roof. We decided to put them right by this vent so we can run the wires through the vent after we're done installing them to the top of the roof. And we also left room over here on either side of the solar panels so we can expand another 200 watts of solar power in the future. Another thing to note, once you figure out where you're going to place down your panels, you will need to wash and dry that area before securing your panels to the roof. So now we got our place where we're going to put our solar panels. And that's where we did the heat shrink on the wires to make sure they are waterproof. Then we ran the wire down here through the roof. Our next step will be to come through here, put a little die core down under the screw holes, put the screws in, then we'll do a little layer of die core around the edges of the solar panels. So we had to get a little creative here on the panels <laughs> to hold the wires up out of the die core. What I did to fill in these holes is I went ahead and used this Gorilla Sealant. It seems to work well and it's making a pretty solid um, gloop there. <laughs> 
after just a few minutes. Just did a little bit of wire management through here. These little things just have a little bit of sticky adhesive on the back of them and then you just stick a zip tie through and then you can attach all your wires, organize them a little bit better. Same thing up here. And this is probably a horrible video angle. And then down here I put a little bit of silicon as well, seal it. Just to make sure nothing gets in and out of there. So we're just going to be putting this corrugated tubing around any place where it rubs right against metal, like right down here. You might want to, yeah. That way it doesn't get chafed around the edges of the wire. Good news is that we got this thing working. You can cycle through all the settings, like here's the solar panel settings. We're getting 1.8 amps right now. Um, batteries at 13.3 volts, 3.8 amps. This temperature thing's not accurate right now because there's actually a little temperature sensor you can hook up here, to hook up to your battery, but I don't have that installed yet. And there's not going to be any load at all because I'm not, I don't have anything plugged into the little load area. So yeah, we got her installed. Now it's just to clean up all this mess. The wire going from the top all the way down here to the bottom. We have some stripping over here that we plan on using to organize that a bit more. This cable hider, so we'll see if that works the way we need it to or not. And I'll get back to you after we finish that up. As per the usual, I missed some steps again. Um, so lately I've been working on this, trying to organize the cables a little bit so you don't have wires just hanging around, flip-flopping all over the place. And <laughs> This is a little bit I still need to clean up, but slowly making progress. What I had to do here, well I didn't have to do it, but since we still are trying to avoid drilling holes into the RV roof and the ceiling and everything where we can, I just put a little strip of Velcro on there, put a little strip of Velcro, well big strip of Velcro, on the bottom of this wire organizer, just to hide the wires a little bit better. Not sure what to do with this. I might just leave it like that and just have a little bit of an eyesore. Well, it's not as pretty as a licensed electrician, but for someone's doing this for the first time, it's not too bad, right? So quite a few exposed wires down here. I might try to think of some way to cover it up, but I've got the solar charge controller working. No power going through the solar because it's nighttime, but I'll flip this guy back on. And once we get some solar power, that should start charging it. Hey, thanks for watching our solar installation video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. As always, adventure on! Mm -hmm.